everybody, Beyond Drew TV here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Planet Zoo update video. Um, in this video, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the um, trailer or the kind of gameplay footage that was just shown off at E3 um, by Bo and uh, Lisa, I think it's Lisa or Liza, um, <laughs> and everyone else at Frontier there. But yeah, they just showed off about a, about a 10 minute uh, video here, uh, kind of showing everything off. So um, I kind of recorded it and kind of figured we would go through and uh, kind of slow everything down maybe a little bit, kind of pause it, take a look, and uh, yeah, just kind of see what we can see in this trailer here. Because there is a heck of a lot to uh, take away from um, what we just saw here in that. So as we're coming in here, we're going to slow it down real quick and point out a few things. First off is looking at this new kind of, um, I haven't really seen these a lot, but that's um, you can see these a few areas here, this kind of architecture here. So it looks like um, a bit of uh, that uh, main scene scenery piece from the African um, theme there and uh, just again we always mention this but the foliage is looking amazing in this um, some of these um, I think they're called kaboa or kebab or <laughs> yeah kebab uh, yeah baboa or something like that trees but um yeah these are uh, kind of spread around here different sizes of them there um, and yeah just a really good overview of the um, African theme there get all the uh, different roof pieces here like this is probably a roof piece here there's some roof pieces there um, but yeah no this looks really really great there's a little enclosure right here can't quite see what the animal is here there's um, a sign right here, um, kind of pointing out to different um, areas and stuff like that. So yeah, no, this is a really, really good opening shot here. And then as we kind of pan down a little bit, you can kind of see here it says uh, Main Zoo this way. So we've got some directionals there. We have a little nice lamp post right here. Um, it looks like it is a ploppable one, you know, all one piece there. It's kind of hard. we got to kind of decipher what's piece by piece and what's, you know, one uh, piece there a little bit. Because, um, you know, you look right here, like this uh, head right here is probably one piece. Um, you have these logs that are one piece probably this tarp kind of thing right there same thing with this roof this log and then there's this lamp right here same thing um, those are all one pieces right through here we probably have trash cans i think right here there's a few of these there we have some planters as well i really like how these planters look that's awesome right there and uh you have this little fireplace off to the left hand side too here's that um face mask again as well that tribal wear so that's definitely you know one piece with them um, and then we have the uh, fireplace over there really like how that looks there Slow it down again there as we're taking a deep look here. Um, yeah, we got our restrooms over here this way. This looks like a main big building there. And then we have like a little food court area over here, like uh, the new picnic benches. Haven't seen these before. This is a new kind of modern looking uh, picnic benches. I like how they kind of uh, mix in some of the modern and the uh, tribal architecture. It works a lot, uh, really, really well. Oh, and by the way, um, I know they're talking up here and I have the audio muted. Um, just wanted to mainly focus on what's going on in the video. They're mainly talking about like how Planet Zoo is focus on, focusing on the like, conservation and they're saying that it's piece by piece, um, you know, building and a lot of stuff that we kind of already knew. Um, the bulk of the information is kind of just like what you see here in the video there so night like this um, little architecture right here we have this nice um i'm wondering if this is piece by piece as well maybe we can make um you know a whole bunch of different things there but a nice little uh, architecture set right there um go <clears throat> see again we have these kind of everywhere this seems like a main um architecture piece right there and then something else that we see i might have missed them before but right here we have a uh, female janitor and it was confirmed that there would be you know uh, male and female janitors in game so there's kind of your first look i believe at the uh, female janitor um staff member right there so that's awesome to see there they look great <clears throat> looks like um if we back it up just a really quick second there and come through it looks like we have a staff room area over here right look at the exclamation points like metal gear solid blink <laughs> don't come over here and it looks like yeah it's like a staff room there this might be a vendor or a zookeeper right here um looks like maybe a mechanic of some sort coming out of here so that's definitely a, um this is one of those staff only paths it looks like if you if you haven't heard the staff paths have been confirmed uh to be coming to planet zoo so you will have a backstage area and stuff like that to kind of um look into and something else i haven't really talked about yet and i was going to talk about a little bit later but i figure it may as well now or is the uh, new ui down here um if you look down here you know if you've played planet coaster a whole bunch you kind of uh, recognize what this looks like but this is a kind of a first look at the ui here and it's very similar to planet coaster and the way that the uh, tabs look and um, the whole feel of it and everything kind of is the same you know we have the same multi-select tool the terrain and the paths this looks almost exactly the same as it does right now we'll get into it later on in the video when they open these things they look vastly different not vastly but a lot different and probably for the better um, over here um, blueprints has been flipped around blueprints is normally over here <laughs> uh, construction I'm thinking that's just gonna be they're putting everything in there so uh, construction tab is probably gonna have all of your building pieces right there um, you know everything that you're gonna 
gonna need for that. Um, it looks like zoo facilities, that's probably putting down like your staff room and um, uh, your uh, bathrooms and stuff like that. Speaking of bathrooms, this one's stinky. You gotta get a janitor over there to clean that. <clears throat> so that's probably what that is there. Uh, maybe we'll learn about some other zoo facilities that we don't know about in the backstage area um, as of now. We have nature, which I'm gonna think is just literally focusing on like the foliage, the bushes, you know, the grasses, uh, the rocks and stuff like that. So just that kind of scenery. In Planet Coaster, they have a building tab and a scenery tab and the scenery tab has a lot of things that you could consider building items as well as well as having like your foliage and stuff it's a bit of a hodgepodge and you have to get used to it i think in this game what they've done is kind of separated that so anything that's construction will be there and anything maybe nature I'm guessing is going to be literally, you know, nature there. So, um, and then we have habitat, which I think is um, what you can put into each uh, individual exhibit for your animal. So I think when you bring that up, maybe there'll be filters or different menus for maybe, you know, your bird exhibits or your lot, your uh, big cat exhibits, your primate exhibits. So that'll be all, you know, what you can use there for, you know, um, uh, playful items and stuff like that. And then finally barriers, which is kind of self-explanatory -explan right there, um, where it's going to be you're putting down your barriers if you want to put down walls sets or maybe uh, glass uh, walls and stuff like that uh, moving over here we have trading which this one is interesting here and they have talked about this a little bit is how you're going to be able to i believe trade animals between zoos so if like, you get a newborn primate maybe you have you know enough of them and but you need um you know a, a crocodile or something i think you can trade um animals between zoos and stuff like that for different reasons so that's kind of interesting that could be a really neat management aspect and then finally speaking of management you have the entire zoo management tab right here um which is probably going to bring up all your finances and you know you, how your animals are doing how your guests are doing you name it there so um yeah i just wanted to talk about that real quick but then we will be talking about the menu more so as we go through the video here um because they will be bringing up a lot of cool things Speaking of cool things, right here we get our first glimpse at the Safari Track Ride. Um, and I, we just uh, recorded a, our Take Two podcast with Mr. Uh, John T. Sparrow there from Geekism. <clears throat> and he did mention to us in his video, and he mentioned in his own video as well, that the track or the Jeep Safari Ride, which we'll get a better look at as we go here, is a tracked ride. And that's their first look at it there. So a little bit disappointing, to be honest with you, that it is such a bulky track. I would have been fine with it if they could have just had like a, a bar going down the middle of it and then the rest been terrain or even just have maybe small guardrails or the best case, nothing. But <laughs> what are you going to do? So, but that's how it looks, you know. So that's. I'm a little bit disappointed in that, but um, you know, maybe you know, knowing us, Planet Coaster players coming over to Planet Zoo, and you know, all these new Planet Zoo players, uh, we'll find a way to cover it if we would like to do that. Something else really cool right here that um, Mr. Sparrow, uh, John T. Sparrow from Geekism mentioned there is uh, that these billboards are, are the billboards act differently here, and you can see that um, you kind of set these up, and um, he mentioned to us that these automatically uh, generate um, pretty much, so that they uh, they recognize what's inside the exhibit here, which we have the um, you know the uh, the giraffes and the bison or something like that right there. I don't know what those are. The water buffalo, I think. <laughs> so uh, they have those two animals. So it kind of brings up information for your guests to read off here. Uh, so this is, um, you know, it's kind of a visual thing, but it's also very much so part of the management for your guests to learn about conservation and stuff like that. So that's kind of a cool look at that. And a really, really awesome shot here looking out over the entire savanna. We have our big lake here. You can see some of the barriers here that they've used to kind of uh, block it off here. Um, so yeah, and you have a lot of the amenities for the animals. Again, I think these things here are the things I think are going to be in the habitat bar. All right. So yeah, these, these kind of things that the deer can use, I think that's going in the habitat bar there. So really great look at all of this really big exhibit there. Um, again, you have a top viewing area, then you have your glass viewing area down here and you can see, we'll look at the Jeep right there. The first little look at the Safari Jeep. Don't mind my space bar pushing. <laughs> Really like these um, kind of out in the middle of the uh, lake kind of lookout areas. That's really, really neat here. Love this shot right here of the elephant enclosure. Um, and it kind of shows off how, um, uh, again, in the um, reveal videos from uh, some of our good YouTuber friends yesterday, they revealed that um, the exhibits can be kind of formed by terrain and not just by walls. So, you know, if you have a, a drop off right here, like a trench, uh, the, the animals like the elephants here will recognize that that is where their exhibit ends there. There's a really cool look of um, some of the um, inner workings of the the jeep right there there's a good shot of the jeep right there it looks like we have rows of like about two or three so it's that two four about six people maybe six to eight people can ride on that there uh really interesting here you have your gate kind of separating between the two areas <clears throat> excuse me almost looks like we have a backstage area over here as well if you look over to the right side uh, those are some regular doors and i think you were going to see a little bit more of that later but i think that's some of your zookeeper uh, staff areas to feed your animals and that's a really interesting thing too that we're going to look at here just a little bit how different the backstage for the animals and stuff like that are for your zookeepers so 
Great look at some zebras in their exhibits there. A lot of them hanging out together. You also have the um, water buffaloes. We're gonna pause it right there because um, this is the first time that they click on an animal for us and we get to see everything that we wanna see um, for your animal there. So there's a bunch of different tabs up this way. You kind of, this is your main tab here. Here's a Suilia, Suilia. Yeah, there you are. So our plain zebra. Um, this is like maybe in Planet Coaster, we have a star system and it's a prestige system. Basically, if your ride, so if we're talking about Planet Coaster and, and the way this looks, if your attraction has more stars, your guests will be more willing to pay more money and wait in line for it and actually be encouraged to want to go and um, uh, pay and wait in line for it, basically. So I'm, I'm noticing we have that uh, same star system here. I don't know if that's going to be prestige for your animal, perhaps. Maybe, um, you know, the better your uh, condition your animal's in, the better mood it's in. Maybe it's going to have a higher star rating and will actually attract visitors to your zoo as a result. Hmm, not really sure there. Uh, you have your adult, five years old, there's your status of it. The welfare, telling you how um, uh, good a condition it is here. You have your nutrition, the social activity of it, its habitat, um, its enrichment as well. And they did mention for the habitat, something interesting, is that um, that is affected in real time. So let's say the habitat for our zebra, let's say we didn't have any of these grasses out and it, it was just bad, it was the wrong area. And we come out and we start um, putting in the right grasses, the trees, and uh, repainting the, the ground texture the right color and everything. You'll actually see the habitat go up in real time, so you'll know you're doing something right and it'll react to you in real time kind of thing. So um, you can also call a keeper to it. Um, you can call a vet so it can get sick. You'll have to call a vet to it. And then uh, request quarantine, probably the same thing if it gets sick. You don't want to get all the rest of your zebra sick, right? So you want to quarantine the animal, which is probably another backstage thing where you're going to have to have like a, uh, uh, I'm assuming here, but I'm assuming you'll have to have like a holding area for your animals if they get sick or something. Or they'll have to go to a special, um, again, you know, a special zoo facility. You know, maybe we have a med bay or a veterinary clinic or something like that. So um, there's that. Then we have all these other uh, tabs here. I think they just kind of break down uh, your nutrition and stuff like that. Like this is like a soccer ball, it looks like. It looks like we have mountains and so that's probably telling you how good the probably a breakdown of their um, exhibit how good it looks for them uh, their nutrition their recreation not sure what that is looks like general health like a DNA strand and then just a paw which has a similar um, thing to the trading here so maybe it tells you how uh, well it can be traded or something I'm not I'm not really sure there so let's see here going through there you're gonna get some good looks really up close looks here of the uh, zebras in action it looks like this is like a cinematic view for it as well and it's kind of neat that they're being social with the uh, water buffalo down there. Again, if they're not water buffalo, I apologize. Someone will definitely correct me down below, I'm sure. So here's our, um, oh, Wildebeest. The game corrected it for me. Boom, there we go. Poop, everyone's hyped about poop. Um, so there you go. So we have a hungry Wildebeest and it kind of shows that their welfare is really far down because they haven't eaten a little bit. Um, so kind of showing you know, that this Wildebeest is not having a good day. He needs to get some food for that Wildebeest pretty, pretty quick there. Um, so there you go. So there's a look showing the uh, animal welfare. Here's a look at a, probably a younger wildebeest it looks like. There you go. And they're showing that they're kind of in herds as well. We do know that the animals are going to be uh, walking around in herds. Um, you know, if they are a pack animal like that, and if they're not a pack animal, kind of like they were talking about like uh, cheetahs, I think it was, and other um, cats like that. Some of them aren't uh, pack animals. So, um, you know, they're going to want to be by themselves and stuff like that. So up here, they're going to kind of show off some of the new um, terrain building tools. I don't know if they're really new. I got it was a really, very quick look at it. Well, boom, let's pause it right there. Um, so here's a look at the terrain menu and we have the same, um, you know, I'm always going to compare this back to Planet Coaster, but we have the same. Uh, this is your raising of the actual ground terraforming. This is painting right here, all of your paint brushes. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which I think is uh, a few more than Planet Coaster had there. So um, yeah, a big thing in Planet Coaster was that we had a, we have, I believe, which is six um, uh, paints that we can use at a time, which is very, it is very limiting. Um, so it looks like in this one, they've um, almost doubled it. Um, so yeah, we have a lot more paints to uh, pick from. We can make our palette even bigger there. And then finally, we're gonna see how the water works there. But if we look over here, um, it tells us that we have, you know, sand, course, tells us what it is. Uh, here's your intensity, um, so you mess with that. Your size, so that is the same as Planet Coaster there. Um, boundary highlighting, not sure what this is all about. This is new here. It looks like a no, a redo button, and an addition button. So I'm not sure what that's all about there. Here's your sculpting here. <clears throat> looks like it's just about the same. Up, down, uh, this is level two height. 
Um, this is angled leveling. Um, this one might be new. Uh, this is roughing right here. I think this is smooth. Not sure what this is. This is like a plateau one, so I haven't seen that one. Over here, same thing. Looks pretty much the same. Surface lock, scenery lock, set, uh, size and intensity. All the same there. Um, and the paint here, this used to be a drop down menu. Looks like they've changed it over to a clicking um, instead there. So, looks like they're, um, yeah, here they kind of show how you, they uh, lower the, the ground there. Boom! Water. What's neat about this is that it does it automatically there. Um, you, you plop it down, and I don't think Roller Coaster, or Roller Coaster Tycoon, whoops, Planet Coaster, <laughs> I don't think Planet Coaster does this, but it kind of automatically paints the ground around it, so that's kind of a nice little, uh, you know, for people that don't want to mess around with terrain painting all that much, it kind of just, whew, there you go, got some terrain paint for you. So here we go, we're uh, moving on here, and here's going to be some of the really cool stuff. I'm pretty sure this is where it comes in. I mean, everything in this trailer is pretty cool. There's a lot to take in with this. There's a lot. <laughs> so, um, but pretty sure we're, we're going to be looking at some backstage stuff here pretty quick. Oh yeah, first we look at the crocodile here. Yep, there it is. I barely saw this thing too. But here's another look at um, the crocodile, um, or the, uh, the menu for an animal here. So there is that. Looks like this one has a badge right there, like a ribbon. I didn't notice that in the last one. I wonder if it's like a... Uh, <clears throat> an award-winning animal or something like that because it's been around this it said it was 16 years old so it's been in, in at least uh around for a while who knows if it's been in this zoo for 16 years maybe it was at another zoo for a while and they got traded over here and it's only been in the zoo for a little bit so who knows there so as you can see again 16 oh it's i'm sorry it's one years i'm not sure how this works it's 16 po oh i see i'm sorry my eyes are bad 16.1 years old there you go so there's that is that a little baby crocodile look at that little guy right there all right, there we go, showing off the terrain painting. Um, uh, really like how this is looking here. Um, so there you go, adding in the different terrain brushes and everything. I wish they would have shown the different intensities um, for those of you that haven't seen this before, because the t intensities, you can get some really nice blending going together if you uh, raise or lower it on there. But I uh, really, really love how it's looking here. Uh, looks really, really good. Um, you know, just, I don't know, just looks a little bit better than it did in Planet Coaster there. So here's a look at um, some backstage entrance doors here. This is a zookeeper door right here, and it looks like this whole area back in here is all like zookeeper backstage. You can see right here, it's a little bit hard to see, but there is glass right here, so that's like a barrier right there. Um, so yeah, all of this is looks like backstage right back up in here. We're actually going to go over here, and uh, this is one of my most exciting things here. Right through all here, you're going to see a few things that indicate some serious management changes between Planet Coaster and this game. So I'm going to pause it right there. Right here, you see a solar panel. That indicates to me that there are utilities in this game. At least for sure power, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. We're for sure going to have to um, at least power um, some of those zoo facilities, I'm thinking. I'm not, I wonder if we're going to have to power, you know, all of our shops and have, like, just basically you have a, you know, everything that needs power is you're going to have to have a baseline power for the zoo there. And I wonder how many different, you know, um, solar panels or power options we're going to have so solar panels wind uh, power um maybe dirty i don't know if they're going to go there and if you use dirty you know it's going to affect your zoo in a certain way or if you use clean it's probably more expensive <clears throat> excuse me i'm not sure if they went that deep or not but that's really cool that's a good indicator to me that you know at least we have to worry about power it'd be cool if it um, went even further than that um and we had to deal with other things as well such as you know um I mean, there's sewer, there's water, you know, there's a lot of things that go into it. Um, but maybe just to start, they're just going to start us off with power there. So look at some wild dogs there, which is pretty neat. And uh, here's a really cool thing, our zoo overview. So it looks like we can look at, um, let's look from uh, left to right here. Here is the Savannah, that's the name of your zoo, open close button there. You can set your opening hours and everything. This is a lot better laid out um, as far as I can tell so far. Um, the, the UI overhaul of this is uh, very nice. So here's your opening hours. You can just click and drag. Uh, tickets, it's free to get into the zoo. Oh, heck yeah, let's go everyone. I wanna go to the zoo. Um, zoo land tax, land utilized yearly tax costs. You gotta pay for your land and stuff. That's awesome. Guest happiness, there you go, pretty uh, standard. Um, the most appealing um, animal. Okay, so it tells you your most appealing animal, which is their African elephant here. The total number of um, animals right here, the uh, number of species, and the average animal welfare. Uh, your total staff and yearly wages. So this uh, breaks down all the staff members and each kind that you have there. So your like mechanics or handymen, um, looks like your zookeepers. Uh, veterinarian, I believe that is. Um, handymen or uh, janitors, security guard, and finally shopkeepers there. Let's see, zoo reputation, reputation goes over animals, conservation, education, scenery, and guest happiness, and all that kind of accumulates into your zoo reputation. I'm sure the higher reputation you have, the more people are going to want to come to your uh, zoo there. Finances, and finally the inspector's report. 
Are we going to see a return of the Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Inspector there? They're going to come through and inspect your uh, zoo and make sure it's all right. I'm sure if it's uh, not good enough, uh, you might get the boot there. So on the side here, we have some more um, breakdowns here. It looks like finances, probably animals, or again, that trading menu. Uh, staff, research. Not sure about this one. This is like research and um, handyman kind of thing there. What do you think about this um, button right here? Not sure about that. We have a shop menu. And then finally, it looks like music and maybe a media button overall. Um, not sure about that one either. Again, comment down below. There's only two that I'm almost uh, uh, uncertain about, which are these two here. I'm thinking this is some sort of media button with the music there. And then not no, no idea with this one. No idea at all, to be honest with you. So there you go. There you go. Breaking it down a little bit higher in the zookeeper. Let's back that up just real quick there. See if we can see anything fun from the uh, staff menu um, there. So let's see going through. Let's pause it right there. Um, looks like it just kind of breaks it down into your caretakers, uh, zookeepers. So this is kind of nice here. Um, so you don't have to go through a bunch of different uh, tabs. It looks like it breaks it down right there. Have all your staff buildings, work zones. It's just all more condensed. It's uh, You're not doing as much clicking now um, in comparison to like Planet Coaster. Planet Coaster was a lot of just clicking around and having to go to different menus and you'd, you'd place oh I, I hope they fix this i think we're gonna find out um <laughs> there was this thing in planet coaster where you would um place down a, a member and if you wanted to hire a different like if you wanted to hire a mechanic instead of a janitor it would close the menu out and you have to go back through and reopen them it was just it was a nightmare um so hopefully they've kind of fixed some of that stuff there um so there you go placing down a zookeeper oh my gosh and they fixed it that's exactly what i was talking about <laughs> I'm just gonna back it up real quick. So in the past what would happen is you would you would select you know your zookeeper there You'd place them down, but instead of um, you know, you right click right there But instead of the menu coming back up It would you would have to go back through in a zoo management and then click on the staff And I know it sounds like a really small thing But as far as like a management goes and like a game where you're going through a bunch of tabs and stuff like that Little things like that add up to a not fun experience as far as management goes. So the fact that they added that in, uh, bravo. That's that's a good change right there. So there's our zookeeper going in. It looks like they... Um, okay, so uh, John T mentioned this as well on the podcast. So you saw that they uh, they placed down the Jan or the uh, zookeeper on this uh, path right here. They came into the um, exhibit, kind of stood there, observed. What they were doing was they were looking over the exhibit to see if they needed to do anything. And she does realize that they are out of food, so they're going to go back... Now to their um, staff building here, or the veterinary building. And this is really cool. This is the thing that I've been like kind of getting excited about to talk about here. Uh, this is your new like staff building slash veterinary building. And it looks like it's completely customizable um, exterior and interior um, here. And uh, you, I think John T did mention it. Um, I don't, I can't remember for certain, but I'm almost sure, uh, positive. He did mention that you can uh, decorate the entire interior of it. And it's kind of neat. They have like an AC unit on the outside here. I wonder if we're going to need to kind of take into account those kind of things um, as well there. So this is a really cool look again um, as we come in here. You get a really awesome look at um, the uh, interior here of everything. And again, I think a lot of this is customizable. And you're going to see that she's taking out some meat here. Because uh, she was looking at the wild dogs place and they need some food. So um, again, kind of taking out some meat. And um, so there you go. Yeah, she's going to kind of prepare it up there for it. So yeah, but I'm really curious about how much we can uh, customize in here. I don't think that they'll let us like place individual like baskets and one towel roll and like these things individually. So part of me feels like it'll be like a, an upgrade system maybe um, where you can like maybe upgrade certain aspects of the um, interior, interior here and it'll kind of like upgrade the whole building kind of thing. Um, but hopefully, I mean, it'd be kind of cool if I was way off on that and you could literally put down all of these things. But something tells me it's just going to be either they're going to be like one object there. So pretty much like this is one object or this is one object kind of thing um but i don't know if we're gonna be able to do all individual um placing down there so then we kind of um, jump out here and kind of follow her along um something else i haven't really been talking about but there is a lot of it is uh all the the just the foliage and everything i mean that's if you're a planet coaster player uh you've known that we've been clamoring for more foliage for ever <laughs> basically so the fact that we're just seeing all these uh gorgeous trees and bushes and the grasses too like that we don't have any of that in planet coaster um you know it, that, that's just really uh that makes us smile basically it brings a smile to our faces so they were gonna get in a little animation here of the uh the dogs coming in and uh eating some uh i mean their breakfast lunch or dinner they are way into it they love it 
they love it. They can barely move their mouths. They're just so excited. They just shovel it in, basically. So, um, so yeah, that was a really great look at the uh, kind of backstage stuff going on. And right there kind of answers another one of my questions. I was wondering what was in this building. I totally missed this uh, during the live watch when I was doing it. But that looks like a water tank right there, doesn't it? So right here is where that solar panel was. And then right here is where a water tank is, it looks like. So um, it looks like we're going to really have to take in con uh, consideration, um, you know, water, power. Uh, Power. Now, I don't know if that's going to be for the whole zoo or just certain exhibits. Um, it'd be really cool if it was for the whole zoo and everything in it. Um, and then we also got a really good look right there of all the backstage stuff, too. So that's a really good look at backstage stuff and how they're taking that um, a lot more seriously uh, for uh, Planet Zoo here. And, uh, you know, hopefully for future Planet um, series there. So here we go. Looking through the rest of the zoo. I like this uh, shot right here. You have a sunset point. And um, I just like this little food court here. You get a nice shot of all the new, um, you know, African-inspired um, uh, uh, vibes and everything. And building sets. This uh, this guy over here. I don't know if that's one piece or not. If that's made by made by individual pieces, but that's really neat. Just love the bright colors and everything. It's a really nice little uh, look over here. We did get another look real quick there of another solar panel right there. You can see it. There's another solar panel there. So I'm, I'm the more I'm seeing, the more I'm leaning. Towards, you almost or might have to um, power everything. Yeah, there's definitely a solar panel there. There might even be some more backstage stuff there. Um, here's a look over our monkey exhibit, or your chimpanzee exhibit, and here's another look at a billboard right there. Some other signs right here it looks like too. I'm not sure if those are advertisement signs or maybe they're um, maybe they're just decoration. Uh, can't really fully tell. Uh, maybe it looks like just decoration perhaps there. So. Uh, here is a look over our uh, chimpanzee exhibit and uh, right here they were kind of talking about more of the uh, piece by piece builder that we have for our monkeys here um, and you kind of get a really good sense and feel of how um, you know this is going to work there you do see the monkeys kind of jumping around there now and again they are saying that you know piece by piece all of these are individual pieces and you can build it how you want and stuff like that so um, you kind of again kind of see there's some little and I'm not trying to point this out to rag on it because I think this looks amazing and this is probably one of the biggest things I'm so excited for uh, for this I'm gonna back it up a little bit but the little thing I want to point out is a little glitchy in the animation and I only want to point that out because that kind of just shows how it's think right there if you look at this guy right here um, it kind of glitches up and it just kind of shows how it's you know it's kind of tracing and tracking its new movement between the pieces that you put down so it kind of just uh, reaffirms that you know this watch him right here kind of just glitches right there a little bit because it's it's readjusting to like a new animation for the thing it jumps on this guy kind of does it a little bit here a little bit of sliding um and you know kind of going a little bit different but um again i'm not trying to bring that up to rag on the game at all it just kind of shows that you know this very much so is piece by piece and you know the, the chimps are thinking about it you know from a computer standpoint <laughs> um you know how to use each thing that is placed here uh, individually manually so that's awesome so another look at the um look at badru here uh, Western chimpanzee of 16 years old. So another uh, look over the menu there. Uh, nice cinematic shots of our uh, chimps here. Um, coming up really quick is something really cool too. It looks like, um, I think they're going to bring up a menu here, but it looks like we have a, um, a weather uh, changing menu on the fly as well. So um, let's see them bring that up. I'm pretty sure that's coming here. There it is right there. So there's a menu where you can change the, as it says here, the atmospheric conditions. So right now it's on shuffle. Uh, then you can do no clouds, clouds, rain, and snow. And then, you know, there's your time. And then you can adjust the, um, oh, interesting. So you can adjust either the time, it looks like, or the time of day slider. And it looks like you they, you can switch it to either one. Um, so whatever you're kind of uh, feeling there. So that, that's really interesting that they give you um, either one of the options. And it's also really cool that it kind of, you know, even though you have this African, you know, uh, savanna with chimpanzees and stuff like that, you can switch it to snow if you want to. And you can see here they switched it to rain. And the really cool thing is not only the visuals of how it looks as it uh, as it does it, because it's not just instantaneous like that. Um, as you can see, it kind of slowly um, but surely changes over um, to a rainstorm. And it's there it goes right there. And it's really cool um, what it does to the uh, chimps. Now you can see they all kind of moved inside here. I love this shot right here of the chimps just kind of hanging out inside. Um, but yeah, you have your chimpanzees on. It's raining out. Um, just kind of hanging out inside together. So yeah, everyone kind of came under this uh, structure that was, again, uh, manually built um, by, you know, whoever is running this zoo here. And they're just kind of hanging out. So, um, but yeah, no, overall, um, you know, that is the look at the Planet Zoo trailer. Just kind of back it up here a little bit and kind of let it run through from there. Um, but yeah, no, overall, holy, holy cow. That's a lot of information. <laughs>
<laughs> that's a lot of stuff. So um, hopefully I didn't miss uh, too much there. I'm sure I did um, uh, miss some stuff there. Um, but yeah, what was your favorite part about this uh, new gameplay demo trailer kind of thing there? Um, and yeah, what, uh, again, what's your favorite part? What are you most excited for? Again, I'm probably most excited um, not only for the new building pieces, but probably for the new interactive scenery with the animals. Um, primarily like the chimps there to build your own like chimpanzee island and stuff like that. I know S. Dan Wolf was talking about wanting to build a chimp island with like a temple in the middle of it and stuff like that. And, you know, um, I know uh, John T has a, a million ideas and Day Lady Designer and all of us Planet Coaster people are moving over to Planet Zoo and all these new Planet Zoo people. People, we're just coming up with a million ideas and you know November 5th can't get here soon enough but what are your ideas for your first zoo what are you most excited to build first in your first zoo what's gonna be the first animal that you put um, you know in your zoo what's the first exhibit that you're like yep I'm definitely building that for me again it's been noted chimpanzees have to build a chimpanzee exhibit so awesome well hey thanks so much everyone for hanging out um again if this is your first time uh, hanging out with us don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button there to stay up to date with all the uh, planet zoo uh, videos we also do a bunch of planet coaster videos here so if you are new to the uh, planet series and you want to kind of get an idea of how the um, planet zoo builder and just kind of how it feels overall don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button for that as well to kind of uh look at those videos too and don't forget to hit the uh, like button as well if you've made it this far helps out the video helps out the channel so hey Hey, thanks so much everyone for hanging out. Appreciate it as always. And until the next Planet Zoo update video, we'll see you then.